Welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be doing a weekend vlog showing you guys a little behind the scenes of me going to a hair show i'm actually going to behind the chair in austin texas and i do leave today i am so excited this is the biggest hair event in the u.s so i'm pretty excited and grateful that i'm going and just be around really talented artists so i thought it'd be fun to vlog the whole weekend and show you guys behind the scenes of what we're doing and i'm currently getting ready i'm pretty much packed i just have like all the little things to do like hair makeup accessories jewelry perfume which honestly i think is the hardest part of packing um, i feel like the clothes and stuff is really easy but when it comes to like the details i feel like it's more crucial and i do have like ocd when i pack i feel like i have to bring everything with me just in case because you never know so that's what we're doing right now and it is now currently 9 48 in the morning i did wake up at eight o'clock and got up got my makeup on and just started finishing packing i did most of the packing last night but like i said today i did all of like the little details like the carry-on stuff hair makeup everything and since i'm going to a hair show i have to make sure i bring everything like all of my hair tools um hair stuff and, and everything like that so i don't forget and that way my hair looks good while i'm at the show also look at looky bear he's sad he knows i'm leaving my loogie bear i'm gonna miss you so much i really am because he sleeps with me every single night and this is the first time i'm gonna be gone for him for a really long time i'm gonna be gone for five days looky bear give mommy kisses give mommy kisses you don't want to give me kisses he's so sad so i am going to finish all my packing i'm also going to eat a quick breakfast and then I'm going to try to go to Target to pick up a couple things. I want to get like a jacket to wear on the plane. Like, all I have is like jean jackets and jackets for like fall winter. So I want to go to Target and see what I can find. And I need to get a couple more toiletries. So hopefully I can finish packing so I can run to Target. And then I'm going to leave here at 1230 to be at the airport at 1 p.m. But before we jump right into this whole weekend hair show vlog, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so you guys can see more videos like this in the future. I am a professional hairstylist, so I do post a lot of content like this of hair, um, salon vlogs and all that. So if you guys are interested, definitely give me a follow. Also, don't forget to follow my Instagram, Ash Luna, so you guys can see a little bit more behind the scenes. I'll be posting all my stories and everything, so definitely give me a follow. So if you guys are interested to see this whole weekend hair show vlog, then just continue watching. All right, so we're on a mission to go to Target and find a couple things that I want to bring on the trip. I wanna see if I can find like a light jacket that's kind of summery that I can wear. This guy is like coming close to me. I'm just gonna move forward. He keeps coming close. Gotta move forward. So I'm gonna see if I can find a jacket that I can bring on the plane that's light and that I can wear with like several other outfits on the trip. And then I also wanna um, get some socks maybe a sticky bra and some snacks for the plane what else maybe some jewelry i want to see if i can find like some like a cute gold necklace i also need to buy the mini lysol sprays for the plane so we'll see what target wants me to buy i'll show you guys what i got from target i'm at a red light so we're gonna do this really quickly i found this really cute tote bag and it was on sale I saw a black one and it was 40 bucks and I was like, eh, I don't know if I want to get a tote bag for 40 bucks so I can get something like this from Sheen. But it was on sale and it says that it was on sale for $20, so I got it. And then when I ringed it up, ew, when I ringed it up, it was $12, so it was a really good deal. And I think I'm just gonna take this with me on the plane and I'm also gonna take this with me to the hair show in case I need to put like stuff in here. So I thought this was a really good steal. And then I just got a bralette 
kind of boring. It's like an army green bralette just to wear underneath um, like sheer shirts and stuff. I really wanted to buy like a like jacket or something and they did have like this really cute green color but they didn't have my size and the bigger ones were just too big and baggy on me. And I also got some earrings to put on my third hole. Oh, green light. All right, so I'm back in my apartment and so like I was saying, I got this bralette kind of random, but I originally went to Target just to find a jacket and I couldn't find one. And the bigger white button ups they had were just too big. They were like all extra large. So I figured I'll just go to the TJ Maxx since they're right next to each other. And I did get this white light button up. It feels like a shirt, but it's like a long sleeve button up. And I'm just gonna use it just to put it over on myself for the plane and stuff in, in case it get cold. I just didn't wanna bring my big jean jacket because it's just bulky and carry, carrying that thing around is annoying. And that way I can just tie this around my waist if I don't wanna wear it on. So I'm happy I got this from TJ Maxx and it was only $16.99. And then I also got Luca toy and treats, you know. Gotta think about my baby. So I'm going to go back inside and I honestly think I might change my outfit. I'm just really not feeling this blue, especially since I have that tote bag now. I really want something that's going to match that tote. So I think I might change my outfit again. <sighs> I swear this is like the third outfit change this morning, but hopefully this will be the last one. So I'll see you guys later. Alright, so I changed my outfit for the third time. I just ended up putting this dress that I've had for a while now. I actually wore this to LA two years ago yeah like two years ago and i haven't worn it since and it's really comfy and i wore it with my platform sneakers that i got from princess polly and then this is the white button up that i got from tj maxx so super cash super comfy that's how i like to travel so i'm ready to go i have my luggage i have my carry-on my luggage and then my bag that i just got from target so as you can see kind of matches my outfit and then that way I don't have to wear like the big black tote and I can just wear this and then I can also wear this to the hair show as well with my outfit so it's really comfy really big and I like the comfort on the strap here so we're about to head out and Lucky Bear Ryan and Lucky Bear are gonna take me to the airport all right Lucky you're gonna take me to the airport I'm gonna miss you so much my chauffeur. The key. On the way, yeah. I want to get like snacks because snacks on the plane are hella expensive. Mickey, then we go back. And go are you gonna miss me? Let me go back and later. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Bye, baby. Stay I love stay. you. He knows. <laughs> Oh, so sad. Bye, babe. Love you. <laughs> okay, so we made it to our. What is this terminal? This yeah. little terminal. We okay. made it to our gate. We're at the gate. <laughs> also, this is my friend Christine. Hi. I don't know if you guys ever. Oh wait, yeah. When Aubrey did my hair, I did a little. Yeah. Cameo. Yes. Yeah. So this is Christine. We're waiting for two other people to join our flight. And then we're gonna be on our way to Austin. We're just eating. 
yummy, healthy. This is from Nature's Table. I'm trying to stay healthy. Yeah. So are you excited to go to Austin? Yep. We're gonna learn some new things. And we're, um, we're gonna be stuck with each other. I know. <laughs> but the first thing is a pool party tomorrow. That's gonna be popping. That's why we had to get healthy. I know. Pool party with a bunch of hairstylists. Sounds like a party. <laughs> It's gonna be like amazing. I know. It really is. Put it right here. You wanna tell him about that guy who wanted us to get him a red bull? <laughs> so we were <laughs> we were in the longest line for TSA. Like literally the longest I've ever had to um, wait in my life. I went to like the other side of the airport. And there was this guy in front of us with his daughter. Let me make sure. There was this guy in front of us with his daughter and he asked Christine, or he asked me or Christine to get out of line and get him a Red Bull. <laughs> and Christine was, Christine thought about it, but then she was like, yeah, cause she's well, nice. because he's with his daughter. Yeah. But then, continue. The line was moving really quickly, so. The line was actually moving really quickly and then so she was like, yeah, no, we're not gonna, she's not gonna go because the line's moving quickly, we don't wanna miss her spot. And then he was like, oh, whatever. And he whips out a whole bottle of like Henny, Hen Hennessy, it looked like Hennessy, right? Oh, yeah. So that's like, what he was gonna, gonna yeah. Up, and he was gonna do it for like a drink. So that's what he was gonna do with his Red Bull. Which is retarded because you're in TSA line. Like they're gonna tell you to throw it out. I guess you should. Yeah, people are alert. But. <laughs> I know. Nice. It's so freaking nice. I love this full length mirror here. These are gonna be the selfie vibes. Cute shower. Another mirror. I love all the mirrors. So when we get ready, you know. <gasps> oh my god, this is a vibe. I love it. This is a Stevie. A Stevie. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice, and this is like the most epic view ever. Literally. Oh my god. We're literally on edge. Here's the pool. We're on the 30th floor, baby. Look at the river. Oh my God, that's freaking beautiful. Oh, there's people paddling. Yeah, oh my God. That's really cool. That's really cool. And that is where the pool party is gonna be at. And then this is where the hair show is gonna be. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Okay. So we're gonna get ready for dinner and drinks, right? Oh. In one hour, baby. We got this. Okay. We can get ready in one hour. Okay. All right, so this is my outfit for dinner tonight. Oh, shit. Oh, no, my pen. Okay. <laughs> All right, so, oh, come on. 
This is what my outfit looks like for tonight. Is Stevie? Is Stevie! She looking good? Nice. <laughs> you look gorgeous. Gorgeous. We have to go right now, but we're gonna head to dinner and see we'll see you guys later. <laughs> Up and alive. We survived our first night in Austin. Woo! <laughs> I feel like every time we've done that, I've done a peace sign. Oh, I love it. I'm like Kim K, I always throw the peace sign. Okay, let's Girl see. Power. Let's Girl look power. at this freaking BU. Stunning. And I like how the sun isn't like beaming in here in the morning. I know. Yeah, that was nice. So nice. So that hotel is where our pool party is going to be at today. And then this hotel is going to be where the show's at the next two days. Look, we're living, we're living on edge, literally. We're on the 30th floor. This view is perfection. So we're chilling. We're gonna get ready. So we're just packing our ship because we might be going to a bigger room. Hopefully. We'll see. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully, because there's four girls. The two other girls arrived today, right now. So let's just uh, pray we get a bigger room. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Hopefully, we get a bigger room with the same view oh, on the same side of the building. I know. Yeah. Hopefully, if not, this was a little treat. <coughs> yeah, it was, it was good while well, it lasted. It was a little treat. Last night was so much fun. We like gay bar hopped, and it was the best time ever. And I got my sneakers dirty, so I'm gonna try to clean these today. I think someone stepped on them. Oh, yeah. Mine are, like, getting dirtier. Yeah, they look kind of easy to clean, but it was so much fun. Went to a drag show. The drag queens were all right. They, <laughs> they were all right. Well, the, you know, we're from Orlando. Orlando's like, where all the popping bitches are at. <laughs> yeah, like, girls from drag race, queens from drag race. Yeah. But it's okay. We still had a good time. Um, we danced all night. We burned all of our calories. <laughs> Maybe I'll just get my pool attire now. Yeah, you're right. Maybe I should do that too. So pool, t pool attire it is. It is good because we danced and we walked. Yeah, we walked. So we, did burn a lot of we walked to the clubs. We walked to the restaurant. We walked to the hotel. So we got our steps in for sure. One good feeling. So. Yeah. Okay, so I don't know what bathing suit I'm gonna wear. It depends on how bloated I am. <laughs> oh, All that jazz. Same. So um, our squad, we're all gonna be wearing neon, except Emily. Uh, yeah, Emily's, I, Emily's wearing black, but it's okay. She's a kid girl. <laughs> she she's allowed to wear black. <laughs> so we're gonna wear neon. Remember when Heather was like, neon is the same thing as black. It's I know. Like, and we were all like, <laughs> it's not. Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> they were like crickets. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm so glad we went out last night. It was so much fun. So much fun. We're really gonna do it all again tonight. I know, but tonight's gonna be more fun because like everyone's gonna be here. Yeah. 
Last night was just like a little, sure. a little, t a little taste. Yeah. Manny's gonna be the little brother. Yeah, Manny's gonna be the little brother we're gonna have to take care of, unfortunately. <laughs> Do you know how to put this back in here? I have oh, to use yeah, like a bobby like a pin, bitch. right? I think I have to use like a bobby pin or something. Actually, I, I have these safety pins. Here. I think I can do it with a bobby pin, right? All right, we're gonna get ready. We'll come back oh, yeah. when we're all done. Brunch vibes. New room. <laughs> we are brunch. <laughs> I'm, I'm we're, moving, brunching. I'm we're brunching. I'm Look who arrived. La perra. <laughs> Cheers, yeah, bitch. Did you get my dead inside? Yes. Dead inside. Yes. <laughs> dead inside. <laughs> 5 a.m. flight. She made it. Pretty nice. This is our food. Looks so yummy. Manny got avocado toast. Okay. <laughs> Christine got a little um, egg scramble with some fruit. Okay, okay. I'm gonna tear this up. Yum. <laughs> Hello. Get ready. Oh my god, this lighting. All right, so we're about to head to the pool. Fortunately, we're not going to the actual pool party because limited because of the capacity so we're gonna hang out our pool we have a cute little cabana it's gonna be a vibe i'm just getting my tote together oh where what should i put in here I'm trying to figure out what and christine if you want to put anything in my bag you can i have a big bag Wallet in here. My lip gloss. I'm ready whenever you are. Ooh, Ooh. Stevie. <laughs> we are ready to go to the pool. We are. With the cabana. We're straight. I'm wearing Fashion Nova, baby. <laughs> uh, these jeans are from. So cute, though. Thank you. These jeans are from Zara. My white sneakers to be comfortable. I'm so in love with this top. It's so cute. My hair. Let's see. I see he's getting ready. <laughs> so cute. Can't really. Lighting sucks here, but. You get the deal. <clears throat> Still here. <laughs> um, we're going to go to a barbecue place around the corner. Texas. Texas. Get the full Texas experience. <laughs> and then we're gonna party after. <laughs> My favorite part. We're gonna bar hop again. Hopefully, um, I think we're gonna go to a new place, right? That new, the other gay club. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go to another gay club. So much fun. Love it. 
But I wouldn't mind if we went to the same spots as last night because it was so much fun. Yes. But apparently that other spot is like more poppin'. Yeah, but it's right across the street, so yeah. You know. If anything, we can just bounce around. <laughs> but it's gonna be a fun night. I love how we like have our spot. I know. Already. <laughs> night one, we already know where to go. <laughs> <laughs> but look the sun is setting and it's looking really beautiful outside there's the river and then all around here is like downtown we're kind of like on the back end of the building where as yesterday we were kind of facing more of the city oh you can see a texas flag all the way down there it's cute i don't know if you've noticed christine but everything here in texas is big <laughs> Hey, everything's bigger in Texas. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It's true. It's very true. out our Ruskin 10. It is absolutely amazing. It is a 10 minute permanent hair color that covers gray. Who here likes to make money? Let's go. Right? Like Ron hair colors are just exceptional. And then with the Ruskin 10, you can do it quickly. So when that client comes in with their mocha frappuccino, half hot, half cold, you know, non-stick latte, right? 15 <laughs> minutes late, you're like, hold on a second, Sheila. I'm going to go get myself a non-fat mocha non-stick latte and then I'll do your roots, right? So you can come back at Sheena. Let's see. All right, guys. So I'm going through and I'm setting the perimeter. And what I can see here, there's multiple ways to set a perimeter. I want this perimeter to be blunt. So we it really ensures that I'm going to have that nice symmetry on both sides of her strand. The other thing you notice right now, I'm just gently wiping the sides because I noticed I had some that was about to drip and we don't want any dripping. I like to drip, but not on the hair. You know, I mean, who else likes to drip, right? An <laughs> LBTC shot. but it still has that high contrast element that clients are asking about now. So I'm gonna switch this over to the other side. Here is the section that I worked with. So what you're gonna do is take your comb where the head goes to bevel. It's usually about an inch to a half an inch back. You're gonna draw diagonally down to just behind the ear. Now that's the section that I'm going to go ahead and decolorize. So what I like to do is split it in half to have control so I can work through this area and that area and of course continue around the head. Now what I want you to point out before I get into the lightener application is how this blends seamlessly. Is it to comb out a TV light? No. <laughs> Questionable, right? So here's a tip for you. It's all about just pushing once, not locking in a tease. So this whole big section, what I'm going to do is take my comb, put it on an angle, and I want to put more pressure on this area where I want to diffuse more hair. Watch what this is going to look like. So the comb is in. I'm going to push with my one stroke. When it kind of gets stuck a little bit, lift it up and continue the push. 
Now you guys can see from the camera here, what that did was it built in more of a TV light in this area, less of one in this area. So what I'm gonna do to avoid the TV light from coming out is take my clip. The clip is going to go there and now it's locked it in and I've taken what was normally a large section and been, been able to slim it down into one foil size to get that lightning. So once you color this, what's gonna happen is it's gonna distribute back and you're gonna get ribbons of color all throughout the back of the head. I do three of these on each side and that's it. That is express color placement, guys. What do you think? Sean, I absolutely love it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can you make her a big baby cry? That is possible. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Miss what? I miss my time. Yeah. <laughs> for lunch? Yeah? I love it. I love it. I didn't get to eat lunch, but okay, I'm happy. I can't, eat, I can't eat at work at the same time. I might fall asleep on the stage. To use the same string from my beads to my weft, because I feel like it's more assurance that my wefts won't slip or my thread won't break, because it's all kind of connected. And I work with an assistant every day. I'll have her start in the back, and we kind of split it up. And so we're sewing half the head with the same string from the beads to the waft. Ready again. This time we're hungover and tired. <laughs> I know. Ow! <laughs> this is what I'm wearing. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> Walking to the show. Wow, we literally have no energy compared to the first day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tired. <laughs> Today's our last day at the show. To get some more knowledge in. Sorry. Hey, we're gonna get some Gus's fried chicken. Can go now. That's where the show is at. W Marriott. <laughs>
but I, I haven't been called a virgin one time either. <laughs> but I heard that there's an energy here in Texas, so where's the energy? Woo! You think that was good enough? I don't know. I don't know. Are you excited? Go! Seamless. If you're cutting long lengths, because of that stagger tooth blade, it's almost like cutting with a closed tooth texture shear. So you're able to go ahead and create movement within the interior shapes of haircuts and not worry about it being very like heavy lines or lines you have to take out. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Let's get low, let's get low. Let's get low, here we go. All right. taking out this braid so you guys can see. We are gonna actually add in here using a feed-in method, okay? With this feed-in method, it is knotless. For those of you who are familiar with knotless, it doesn't have that big bump toward the base of the braid. We're gonna go ahead and separate into three sections, and my lovely assistant, Indisa, will go ahead and have you the hair. We start off with small amounts, and we're gonna go ahead and loop it in. Once I've created a partial turn twist, we're gonna go ahead and put this under my index finger, just like that. Y'all see that? So it's a separation of two sides. What that's gonna do is gonna create the length that she doesn't have on two sections of my free strand braid. I'm gonna do another. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, we're back. Hi, we're back. <laughs> I feel like I haven't been vlogging in the last 24 hours. It's been hard. But we're here. We all hate you. It's um, 2 o'clock and we just had lunch at this really good taco place. It was really good. And so we'll be here for the next two hours. Go back to the hotel, regroup and then go to another taco place. <laughs> and yeah. More tacos. Yeah, we actually have a taco or a reservation at some taco place. Listen. And it's Instagram worthy, so y'all will see how cute it looks inside. Instagrammable. Yeah, so cute. And then after we're going to a bar crawl with the show. But, but I'm not drinking tonight. <laughs> That's what she says now. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm done for the weekend. But yeah, we'll see you guys later. Hairdresser, specialty hair colorist, 
which I am, you know, after all this year, last year we lost a lot of education and shows, and hopefully the time is coming up, we can make up for it as great people. Okay, last year was really a challenge with the COVID-19, and Farouk system, what we did. We're Americans, we like to scream, we like to have fun, so let's have some fun. I'm going to pass it to Gabriel so you can introduce him. Yes, my friend. Thank you so much, Trust Professional, for having us on stage. We're making history again all the year with the BTC team. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, the whole entire BTC team, for creating an amazing show for all of you guys. I am Gabriel Samra, at Gabriel Samra, at Gabriel Samra. Go, 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 go now, go now. At Gabriel Samra. Follow it, follow it. Let's hit it to 500,000 followers right now, today. So, guys, uh, this is Trust, and I am so proud to be uh, I just like to go real quick, because we're finishing up, how I finish this. Like, like, like we're here, we like to break the rules. I don't like to follow rules, okay? I think we're artists, and we should become artists, okay? We should not follow that many rules. <laughs> Uh, I like to grab the brush. No. <laughs> I know. I like to grab the brush. I don't even I know. I need to be like that like, though. <laughs> I like to grab the brush and just scary. brush the ends to give it that nice extra pop, okay? And I uh, got that dimension in there, and that's pretty much it. Guys, if you can see, we're all so passionate. Simone is passionate. Gabriel is passionate. You guys are so passionate. Passion is free. Nobody can take that away from you. So make sure you guys get out there, strive, and be amazing. Now stay tuned because... We are back at the hotel. Um, it's 5.30 now and we're just freshening up and we're gonna go to dinner. We're gonna go to that taco place that's very Instagrammable. <laughs> There's a bunch of like cute little um, post-worthy areas in the restaurant. Well, it's not a restaurant. It's like a little taco place. Really cute. And then after, we're gonna go to the behind the chair bar crawl or like event. Probably won't be drinking. I'll probably just have one drink and that's it because we have a early flight tomorrow back to Orlando, back home. I'm excited to see my babies. Miss them. So yeah, overall it was a really good event. I am really happy I came and I've already learned so much so it was definitely worth it and I feel very grateful to be here because I know it's very exclusive. Not everyone can come to the show, it's very limited. So I am grateful that I was able to come and learn some new techniques, some new ch tips and tricks. <laughs> so I'm just going to freshen up, just chill and FaceTime Ryan for a little bit. And then I will see you guys a later at dinner. Go back to who I used to be. So if you ever need me, promise you won't let me go. It's like kicking him at the airport. <laughs> tired. We're tired. The weekend's finally done. I can't wait to go home and chill with my baby. <laughs> I miss him so much. <laughs> and Ryan. <laughs> but mostly Luke. Hey guys, so it is now officially a week since I've been back from Austin. I know it's crazy, I did not pick up the camera as soon as I landed and kind of end the vlog. I was just so, so exhausted when I landed. I got home, I just threw my luggage in the room and went straight on the couch. 
I cuddled with Luke <laughs> the entire day and just hung out with Ryan. And then the next day was Wednesday and that was the beginning of my work week. I was so busy at work and it didn't help that I didn't rest from the Austin trip because I think the weekend finally caught up with me the next day when I woke up for work. I was so tired but it was so worth it i had so much fun in austin i learned so much and it was exactly what i needed i needed to get re-inspired with hair and just learn some new techniques with balayage cutting especially cutting because i feel like cutting is more of like a weakness for me so i definitely learned some new techniques and it was definitely what i needed so i am very grateful that i went and learned so many new things got to meet some really cool people in our industry but overall we had so much fun and even though the partying was a plus the hair show was very inspiring and exactly what i needed so <laughs> this is kind of like the end of the vlog portion also sorry for the late upload um i'm pretty consistent about my uploads i upload at least once a week but you know like i said i came back from austin so exhausted i worked 40 hours a week and then when it came to the weekend i just could not think about editing so i'm sorry for the late upload hopefully you guys understand i do work 40 hours a week and I do YouTube on the side for fun because I love it and I love being busy. But also I definitely need a time to recover and just chill and relax because I cannot overwork my body, you know? So hopefully you guys understand and I will be back to my regular upload this upcoming week. And I do have lots of new content that I want to do for my channel. So stay tuned for that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe down below to help your girl out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.